Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist, and we're gonna rep for labels a swerve. These guys aren't swerve. I don't know why they're here. Because they're awesome. Hi, Kryn. Hi. What's that bow? That's a bow. I need to remove it. No. Okay, well, then I need to remove him. Oh, uh, I'll hold him. Okay, here you go. Hi. I need to get you. What are you even doing Hi. here? Hi. Oh, Starscream. I have a shoe for him. Give me him. That's Thank weird. You. Nine. We'll do some rep for labels over here. And uh, I've got the instructions next to me because they messed with the white balance on the webcam last time. So uh, let's see if we can just run this proper style and untilt the webcam while I'm at it! <laughs> kind of! Are you ready for questions? And... <laughs> What's going on? All right. You got, are, you, are you ready for questions? I'm ready for questions. Okay. Did your PCC toys break easy? I had half the line and they all broke. Power core combiners toys. I didn't have many problems inside of like... The minicon for the tank from the last wave broke and I had to get a new one. That was about it. Do you think Deluxe Groove could pave the way to a CW Computron? I think CW Computron is probably already happening. How many lasers does it take to be a mega laser? At least 10. Why isn't Hotspot making a pose? He can't make a very sexy pose very easily. He's stoic. Also, I put the bow on him and then he wouldn't let me touch him anymore. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah. Is Starscream doing a sexy disco pose? Yes. Probably. Yes. There seems to be a theme going on tonight. Hotspot. Too fabulous for the build space. Yes. Kind of way too fabulous. <laughs> is it just me or is the camera way too bright? Um, it's going in and out because that's, that's the auto exposure on the webcam. I don't think I can manually control that. Sorry. I am controlling the exposure on the actual camera that's going to film the proper version of this right now. <laughs> it's going to. It is filming the proper version of this right now. What if Hasbro decided to make a Combiner Wars box set of the Rescue Bots? I would love to see any kind of non-kitty version of the Rescue Bots, because I think they're all really cool character designs. ¿Dónde está la web comic de Kryn? Um, Kryn, you can answer that one. Um, I have a Tumblr account if you really want to see it. It's K-R-I-N-S-Y-N, Krynson, Tumblr. It's called Twitter on the Lost Light. It's really, really silly. Really, really silly. Fairly beloved. <laughs> Alistair the Worm Slayer, who has been with us the whole time, it has to go. Thanks for staying with us, guys. Yeah, thanks for chilling, man. Have a good evening. Have Hasbro ever made a coffee machine transformer? No. I need a coffee pot for Space Helmet. That's a really good idea. They should do that to appeal to older people who don't have any Transformers knowledge at all, because old people love coffee. Actually, everyone loves coffee except me. Young people love coffee. I don't really love coffee. Yeah, I don't like it either. Evangelist, are you feeling pretty? I always feel pretty. I think you need a bow. Like, pretty is my middle name. Vangelis Pretty. No, it's Chris Patly Pretty <laughs> Ho. Vangelis Central Ho. Vangelis Central Ho. <clears throat> Can you film yourself doing sexy disco poses? Uh, that seems like that would just be exploitative of my body. I'd be objectifying myself. I don't uh, really intend to. How onslottable do you think the hotspot skeleton is now that you have him in hand? Immensely onslottable. What does that mean? You can he's, turn him into someone else? He's going to be remolded and repainted as onslaught. I'm 100% sure now. Will he still be pretty? Yes. Okay. But he'll be more evil and military. What What color is hot onslaught? He's kind of like dark olive green and gray. Ew. Those are yucky colors. Do you have a name for the snarking editing being that appears in the text in your reviews? Uh, yeah, the subtitles? <laughs> Subtitles. Masterpiece Rescue Bot Optimus. Okay. Worst character in Transformers IDW comics, in your opinion? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, right now, I, I generally like him. I think that if there's anything, Star Saber is kind of a weak character, because I don't understand any of his motivations. Is he super religious? Yeah, that's like all he is, is he's a super religious zealot man, and I don't understand why or how he got to that point. And oh. I feel that makes him a kind of an empty... Like, the DJD for a little while were that empty, too. And that they were just, like, monsters who showed up. Mm -hmm. And thank goodness they're now getting a, a much fuller characterization. Um, I hope Star Saber, if he appears again, appears alongside a much more layered and uh, nuanced characterization. Kryn, did you say you wrote those Twitters on from The Last Light? Yes. Yes, yes that was Those me. are hers. I'm sorry. <laughs> Coffee Pot Transformer name? Percolator. That's really good. I like that name a lot. I'm going to steal that. TZM Hero, you get a Rodimus star. Because that's good. No, no, don't say his name, because then we can't steal it if you say his name out loud. But I, I don't want you to steal it. I want him to get the credit. I want to steal it. And also her, if you are a her. Okay, Hot Onslaught just needs a fab beret. 
Hell hot, yeah. Hot onslaught? That... <laughs> hot onslaught. <laughs> hot onslaught. I'm hot for the slot. Oh my. <laughs> ah, the Helixian says bye. Bye bye. Okay, serious talk. The subtitles have been relatively quiet lately, especially in regards to making fun of you. Is that reflective of your own increased confidence in video making? No, it's because whenever the subtitles do anything, one person says they're talking too much and then someone else says they're not. So I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I just write them as they are. <laughs> <laughs> Currently mesmerized by the amount of robot crotch-touching Vangelis just did. That's right. Oh, swerve, you're irresistible. Vangelis, opinion on Gundam in general. Um, I completely understand why a whole lot of other people like it. I wish I could resonate with it, but it just doesn't click with me that that much. <laughs> so, Red Alert says, Sweet, my friend who runs Nautica, the Savant's Facebook page, loves those. I recognize her name. I've seen her. Um, Say hello. Hello, hello, hello. I also laughed my aft off over them. I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoy them. Evangelist, what direction do you think Megatron might go in the future? Revert to bad or stay in the Autobot slot side? I am pretty sure he's going to not be an Autobot forever. I don't, but I believe that, I believe James Roberts' whole intent here is to finally give IDW Megatron a character because he's always been uh, an aspect of the plot before this. And so I feel like he's got places to go. I don't think he's going to just be an Autobot forever, but I feel like whatever he does will be at least interesting. I hope it is. I think that he had a genuine wish to no longer, or a genuine wish to divorce himself from the, uh, like, horribleness of the Decepticon movement. Yeah. But he has recently been motivated, because he said he was thinking and plotting, and he got that brainstorm briefcase. I think he's plotting something. I think he's going to do something. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be doing something for the greater good of everybody, but I think he does, like you said, he genuinely wants to clear his name of being just the reason behind a gajillion deaths over a few million years. Yeah. He wants to leave a legacy is what he wants to do. Do you think we'll get a Masterpiece Shockwave someday so I don't have to spend 800 bucks in China to get the 3P one? I'm sure someday we will. Do you think it would be extra monies to tool the modular Combiner Wars bases to have beast bits? Well, yeah, it's going to be extra money, but I'm sure if they do beasts for Combiner Wars, they'll just come up with, like, two or three beast skeletons and uh, and proceed from there. x Goken Grimlock or MP Grimlock? Which do you want? Um, well, I have MP Grimlock, so I guess if I had to say I want one right now, it'd be x Goken because he's the one I don't have. What do Man, you I sound like a dick. I'm like, this is the one I don't have because I already have the other one. What do you think of the upcoming Hasbro Devastator? I think it looks cool. I'm looking forward to it. Fan built combiner ladies all retools? Question mark. Probably. Not Transformers related, but thoughts on Drive type Tridoron? Tridoron? Um, I mean the silhouette looks pretty goofy. All the Drive upgrade suits have been kind of like dumb looking in a way that I sort of smirk at, but I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm really like into them to the point of wanting toys. Who's your favorite Beast Wars character, comic or TV? I really like Tarantulas. I like Dinobot and Black Arachnia. All right, less serious talk. How amazing are SOC Galgagar's hands? They are, like, the best robot hands. Like, every... I said this already. Every single company making robot hands, all you third-party companies out there, all you other companies making posable robot hands, you need to be locked in a room with Solo Chikok and Galgagar's hands and, and let it... Let the, the genius ebb onto you from those things. Are those those black ones? Yeah, yeah, with the sliding palm the thing. The really good ones? Yeah, those are really good. <clears throat> Why hasn't IDW made a Transformers cartoon? Because that costs a lot more money than making a comic book. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about the recent trend of Megatron's undecepticoning? They had to do something with him. You can't yeah. just be pure evil. He was a nothing character for a long time in IDW. Or he, he was, as I said, a character who was... His character was dictated by the needs of the plot. And it was a, a hugely... Like, his character was changing and, and contradicting itself so much that this whole thing, I think, was very necessary. Beast War in Combiner Wars? I want a Leo Prime as Arm for Optimus and call it Liger Convoy. Yes, do it. That sounds fun. That's a real thing, actually, from a Japanese series. How much Chuck does Woodchuck Chuck... Well, they didn't do it the right way. How much Chuck does Woodchuck Wood if a Woodchuck could Chuck Wood? Or Chuck Chuck? That, that sounds silly. That's not the one I learned. Oh, well. Well, what's the answer? Three? Three. I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not a beaverologist. <laughs> I'm a paleontologist. Oh, yeah. 
What is your favorite and least favorite part of making a review? My favorite part is when everything falls together all nice and happily. Uh, and the feeling of completion at the end is really good. My least favorite part is especially when I have a complicated transformer and I'm filming the, the transformation montage. Um, it always daunts me a whole lot and I end up putting it off for like days because I'm like, this is too hard. I can't do this right. It's not going to be perfect. In general, that's my big problem is I keep not doing things because I keep going. It's not going to be perfect. Seeing as Hasbro has already done Marvel crossovers, how about a Disney line? All right. Disney Transformers, I'd be into that. Hmm. Just switching up the instructions here. Ah. Let's see. Is Grimlock's thing that he just talks weird but is actually a genius, or is he just an idiot? Which is your favorite incarnation of the Dinobots? Um, I'm partial to a lot of them. I even like idiot Grimlock from Season 3. Um, but I always like the idea that he's actually kind of smart and just has, like, a totally busted, like, uh, deficiency in his, uh, his mental-to-vocal processor. Although, sometimes that can come off as, like, a little bit too cool, I guess? Like, kind of, like... It's it's an it's indicative of an author who likes the character a whole lot, and that can that can color the storylines a little bit. TZM Hero, it's okay. Vangelis, what would be the best place to start the IDW comics if I want to catch up? When you said it's okay, you gave a thumbs up at the screen. I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if you want to just read what everyone likes right now, go read Death of Optimus Prime, then start reading More Than Meets the Eye. That's the stuff everyone's really talking about. Yeah, it's really good. What do you think of the upcoming Square Enix Batman? I love it! It's so stupid and completely misses every single point of the character <laughs> in a fantastic way. Um, I'm going to try to review uh, or secure a review sample of it if I can. I don't really want to buy it, but I'd love to talk about it. Speaking again about Unicron Trilogy, could you explain more clearly about why you feel Energon Superlink didn't live up to its potential? It could have... It had all these different... Um, carryovers uh, that could have been really interesting storylines like Demolishor or Starscream's Ghost and Alexis as an older ambassador type character uh, all these things rife for drama based on an entire TV series most of us had spent a while sometimes painfully watching through and to nullify all of that potential through the constant use of just one plot device the irreversible mind wipe uh, I felt was insulting to all that potential, uh, and it was immensely frustrating to watch. What were your thoughts at the end of Predacons Rising when Megatron says the Decepticons are no more? I loved it because I was like, I really want to know what that Megatron is doing now. Because I, I loved the path that Prime Megatron took of like death and rebirth, and and realizing you know what what it's like to to be something that's just a pawn in this larger cosmic game. Would you like a CWC Cons King Poseidon? Of course. Uh, I'd love a Combiner Wars like anything. Combiner Wars toilet, I'd take it. How difficult is it to concentrate while answering questions and applying labels? Um, if you notice that I sometimes start saying a whole bunch of kind of, you know, sort of like nonsense that doesn't mean anything sort of kind of words, that's part of how I'm coping with the uh, scenario, as it were, here, there, now, and then. It might be a symptom of my inability to understand Tumblr, but I cannot find Twitters from The Lost Light. What specifically should I search? Go to, what's Twi your Tumblr it's, page? No, Twitter on The Lost Light. Yeah. Twitter on The Lost Light. Also, Tumblr is like a horrible yeah, website. Tumblr, Tumblr is kind of a garbage it's, website, and I don't mean that for any of the stereotypical reasons. It's a poorly designed interface. It's really difficult. There's, if you can find it, just tweet me and I will send you links. I'm at Crinson, K-R-I-N-S-Y-N. And I'll be happy to send you when we're done. Yeah, I don't hate Tumblr mm -mm. people. I just don't like Tumblr as a site. It, the website is confusing to use. Yeah. So, okay. Would you prefer a CW Predaking as a Titan class or the regular way? I'd love to see him as Titan class if possible, but I'm not going to hold my breath. How long, approximately, did it take you to find your voice in your videos? I'm thinking of starting to make my own. Um, I still don't feel I've found my voice. I feel like it's changing constantly. Um, and, and my advice, if you are worried about that aspect, is just start making them because uh, you won't find it before you start making videos and your voice will change while you make videos uh, from year to year so just get going just start and see where it takes you if you were in WWE what would your name and intro be um, I'd be the uh, Undertaker because I would inherit the power of the dark side from the dead man uh, and I would do what they should have been doing already which is having him transfer his power to the next generation with the G2 Superion gift set pick shown, what other generation style toy do you want to 
get oh, C get a G two makeover. Like all of them. Every time I start thinking about it, it's just, it's a it's a long downhill trend. Like I want G two Bruticus, I want G two Menasaur. I mean, holy crap, G two Menasaur. Uh, G two Defensor is also a thing. So him too. This is like just do all do all of them. What is oh who is your favorite Shockwave? Mine is G one because of his sadistic voice. I really like animated Shockwave. Will you ever get a frame arms kit? Um, I already got three. What are you talking about? I don't know what he's, don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Do you have a favorite manga? I really like Blade of the Immortal, but I haven't kept up with it for years. I have one manga that I've read, and it's the Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service. It's really weird. <laughs> and I, that's like the only one I've ever read. I love that name. Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service. <laughs> What's your favorite Decepticon combiner? Devastator, Menasaur, Bruticus, Predaking, Abominus, or Piranicon? Mine is Bruticus. I always kind of had a soft spot for Abominus, because, like, why does he even exist? Um, sorry, there's a lot of questions. The first few episodes of Energon, where the reformed Decepticon struggle with the thought of rejoining Decepticon was brilliant, then they ruined them. Oh, I thought that was a question. Oh, well, I mean, that's also to my point. Like, yeah, that was some amazing story potential, and it was squandered entirely. Who is the Decepticon or Autobot that's the most creepiest to you because of subtle implications? Um, Punch Counter Punch. Yeah, you sure. love that guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Dream Wave Sunstreaker was also pretty great. When is High Price of the Final Death 2 coming out? I don't know, and the current part 2 of the first one is now muted because it used copywritten soundtrack stuff. Do you think we should get a TFP Unicron Possessed Megatron toy? Uh, there is one in, uh, there's a Legends toy, or Cyberverse toy, and there's a Constructobots toy, so technically, that's not the answer you wanted, I know. <laughs> but you kind of got one. Sapphirium says, have to take off, take care, enjoy the rest of Memorial Day. Thank Thanks. you, you too! That's the name that's kept popping up. Okay, what's the M on Swerve's hood you just added? Uh, it's the letter M there. Um, it's an M. I think it's some detail from the original toy. <laughs> Thoughts on Undertaker losing at WrestleMania 30? Whatever, man. Like, that's fine. But have him pass his power on to someone now. Like, I want him to shoot lightning at somebody. And, like, well, here's what I was hoping for. I was hoping that Bray Wyatt would, like, lose or would beat him. And then Undertaker would be like, you want to be the new face of fear. You want to be the Lord of Darkness. You must be the Lord of Light as well. And then, like, <laughs> shoot lightning bolts into him. And then Bray Wyatt turns into, like, the, the light side Undertaker. And that would have been amazing. I don't know anything about that, so that was just, like... Pro wrestling. Even more confusing than the things you usually say. It was pro wrestling. Would you believe I found Twitter on the last slate on DeviantArt? Yay! <laughs> is it on there? Yeah, I put it on DeviantArt and Tumblr, okay. so... It will be in both places. Tumblr is awful. I want to like it because there's cool stuff there, but it's so bad. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. I think it's... Because there's so many people inspired to do stuff on there, and I like... I like the idea of a platform that makes people feel active and, like, they can do something about something... But the, the platform sucks. It's a shame. I'll have you know, my MP Rodimus took a shelf dive yesterday and didn't explode into a million pieces. Impressed? I am. Do it again. <laughs> Let's talk. Some people are telling this person they love their videos. IX rollout IX. What do you oh. think of animated blur? I like him. Um, I, I, whoop, I strongly believe he's still alive. Have I'm also you? having a lot of trouble with the sticker. I'm going to switch to the tweezers. <laughs> Do it better. Have you started reading JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? You should. Everyone keeps telling me to read it, which means that I'm, like, getting too daunted to read it. <laughs> if you want him to do something, tell him not to do it. That's not true. Do you ever cosplay Evangelist? I think you'd make a great Steven Universe. I really want to cosplay Shin Sector someday. It's my character from City of Heroes. It's one of my dreams. Why does Abominus have two, two-headed dragons? Right? <laughs> <laughs> if you were to make up your own combined team, what would their motif be? Two-headed dragons! Who do you want to read about in IDW that isn't there? Punch! Counter punch! Yes, that's his answer to everything. I'll tell you what I want to read. The writer says he wants to write Megatron's, like, political document. I would much rather read, like, if Ratchet did a Grey's Anatomy book. 
I want to know the anatomy. That would be so cool. Yeah, you want like um, you want like a, a solid an atlas of their anatomy. Yeah, like a, like a concrete science bible for how yeah. they work. Show me their insides. I have some ideas for drawing my own, so you might see that in the future. Crane gets real hung up sometimes when Transformers just starts mixing biological terminology. Ugh, in the... Like CNA. But it I'm works because like, they're they're living machine things. Do they have nucleic acids? Do they have blood vessels? They have cyber nucleic acids. When you when you rip an arm off, they're their blood comes out, but is it pumped through them in a blood stream? That's what I want to know. Somebody tell me. It pumps out <laughs> through a cybernucleic blood bloodstream. Ah, okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts on the Shark Tacon Megatron? Do you think we should have gotten him in the show? Yeah, because that toy is the bomb. I love that toy. AoE wasn't very good. It was war than war. Worse than Energon itself. What's worse, the Unicron Trilogy or the Movieverse? Uh, Age of Extinction's better than the Unicron Trilogy specifically. Um, I think that the movieverse is still better than the Unicron Trilogy in the sheer simple fact that it's four films rather than 150-some episodes of questionably dubbed anime. Who are you? I am Pat Lee. <laughs> Hi, Pat Lee. How many times do you think they're going to keep reusing molds for Combiner Wars even on similar vehicles? Uh, as many times as they can, uh, or, you know, halfways reshell them, like with Groove. Um, I think it, and I think it's really smart the way that they made the Combiner Wars limbs, especially so modularly designed. Kryn, may I refer to Vangelis as Chris? If you want to. Yeah, hey, don't ask me or anything. Don't Vangelis ask, is cooler. Don't ask me. I'm just over here. I'm just sticking stickers on a truck's butt. <laughs> what is your favorite modern Transformer post-2005? Oh, God, I don't know. Um, I really like Orion Pax. I really like Evasion Prime. They're both really good. Uh, uh, so many questions. What is the best reasoning for why the Decepticons lose? Um, because the bad guys have to win. And they're all kind of nuts. By the way, so there's three <laughs> different um, license plate choices. Oh. I'm going with Bartender. Oh, yes. The other one is Bad Shot and Gain Way. Oh, like yeah. Like Gangway. I think Bartender's the best Bartender, one. yeah. Bad Shot would... Like, he wouldn't wear that. Someone else would put that on him while he's sleeping. Yeah, I feel like Swerve would be the one who puts <laughs> Bartender on his own license plate. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Which G1 non-combiner torso guy would you want to see turn into a new combiner torso guy like Cyclonus? Um, Everybody is just Cyclonus. Just make everyone Cyclonus. Yeah. He's the coolest. I Actually, this guy is cool, too. Hotspot. I'd like to see, like, uh, one of the city bots done as a torso. Do you have the Warbatron figures coming? No, I do not. If you made a video game, what would be the worst part of it? Um, all those stupid sewer level escort missions I'd stick in. <laughs> yes, everyone. Escort missions in sewer levels. <laughs> Is this mold based on Gears? No, but they made a Gears toy after this with a new head. Um, what if Cartoon Network transforms... Transformers animated back the same way they brought back the original Teen Titans cartoon as Teen Titans Go. If Hasbro's up for that, I think that uh, it'd be kind of neat. I, th I know Derek Wyatt and all the guys who worked on animated would be stoked. Coke or Pepsi? Coke! Thoughts on sh Shattered Glass Fiction? Um, I wish I liked it more than I do. Um, it's a shame. Like, I just find that it overstayed its welcome, and I find that I didn't feel I didn't feel it engaged me the way I wanted it to if it was gonna keep happening. Why did you use Haruhi as your icon on Twitter? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Have you ever heard of slash had any Stickfast figures? If so, thoughts? Oh, they were cool back in the day. I mean, they're still kind of cool. I got a Stickfast Archer back in uh, my apartment. I still haven't built. I got out of a charity box uh, at TFCon. Um, they were cool. Do you worship Haruhi Suzumiya as though she is the one true god? No, because I'm the one tr What? In which year do you think the G1 toy line started going downhill, and what would be your example? I don't know. I don't think it ever really went downhill. It just kept changing. Uh, so, you know, it eventually left people's tastes. Uh, over time, I found something to like in, in most every year of G1. Um, I suppose Action Masters is the easy answer, because that's when it had the biggest change. It's the bartender license plate there. Ah. Very good. Okay, here's a tongue twister. I think they just want me to say it. Are you a pheasant plucker or a pheasant plucker's wife? I don't care for pheasants all that much. I don't <laughs> eat them. 
Would you be happy or sad if Shattered Glass was given the ultimate ultimatum treatment? Well, that would suck for everyone who worked on it and put their their heart and soul into trying to write fiction for it. Yeah, that would I would be pretty sad for them. I wouldn't be happy to see it get obliterated like that. So what are we looking at? Oh, uh, this is this is Flanker now. Flanker. Flanker. That's such a silly name. I'm gonna get the stickers on here. They're gonna cover up some of his Autobot symbols, and we're gonna put the Autobot symbols elsewhere. Ooh. You should give him Decepticon symbols. Well, that's not on the sticker sheet. We have Aww. to do what the sticker sheet says. You're making him into Navy? Yep. Why? Because that's what's on the sticker sheet. <sighs> if this sticker sheet told you to jump off a bridge, would you jump off a bridge? Oh, yeah, because then it's a sticker sheet telling me to do things. This means it's a magic sticker sheet. <laughs> Do you think starring in the Transformers movie propelled Shia LaBeouf into being a real-life cannibal? Um, I think that he was a real-life cannibal long before the Transformers films. It's only recently it came to light. Will you review SOC Gal Gai Gai? Uh, I want to at some point. Have you gotten the new leader, Magnus? Uh, just recently, yes. He's neat. Not perfect, but he's neat. Crin, thank you for being such a good sport with all these questions, particularly those I've asked. It's all good. We're all here for fun. Yeah, and me and Crin both like answering questions. Me especially, because it means I get to talk. <laughs> I like talking. Which, if any, Transformers animated characters do you wish third-party companies would make? Um, the Constructicons. Absolutely, first and foremost, the Constructicons. Um, can you make a rhyming couplet about Minimus Al Ambus? Minimus Ambus was eating a sambus <laughs> of ham on cheese and rye. <laughs> Do you still have Pia underwear you stole during TFCon? Man, we got that twice in the same stream? Someone <laughs> yeah. asked about that? I'll I say guess, yes. I guess Pia really wants his underwear back. Well, he, too bad. It's mine now. When you're done scraping his DNA off to make a clone, you should return it. No, it's mine. Right. Keep what you kill. Vangelis, how disappointing is it that CW Minimus Ambus can't fit in Magnus's cockpit in vehicle mode? Uh, I really wish he could. Also, the card is full. Oh. <laughs> um, I need to pause this for a second. Not have to pause the whole stream, but nope. I need to pause Live this Live stream out. is still going to go. We just need to pause the filming for yeah. just a moment. There's All right. Here I can... What TF gimmick really grinds your gears? What grinds my gears? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess it's not a gimmick. I just don't like it when on a design level they have gorilla arms. What is your least favorite Transformer series? Uh, is it Kiss Play? No, Kiss Play is one of my favorites. Really? Yeah. Kiss Play is one of your favorites? It has so much good story potential. Well, since nothing's happening, we should put something in here for them to look at. Oh, jeez. Look who it is! Jeez and Krizzle. Jeez and Krizzle? That sounds gross. No. Yes. <laughs> Are you familiar with the Berserk franchise? I've heard of it. It's the guy with the big sword. Do you want to switch spots? Maybe briefly. Okay. Or if I can just pop over here. All right. So. Have you ever felt like any modern Transformers were too G1? Nah, not really. I mean, huh. we've had a whole lot of ones that were more stylized, and now there's other ones, you know. What's going on over there? I don't know. <laughs> so what's happening right now is he's changing I'm just, yeah, I'm, camera uh, data. I'm moving some of the card it's, stuff onto the hard drive. So nothing's happening for these guys, so we have to make something happen. Oh, jeez. My name is Flanker, derp. What's up? Uh, my name is Flanker. That's a worse name than mine. <laughs> Come on, Flanker. I'm bad at role-playing. You're Flanker. <laughs> this guy is so cool. I like him a lot. I have the specimen here. We're ready for dissection. Thank you. Can I dissect him? Why? Because that's what I do. Oh, that doesn't sound very here sociable. Here we have the head. Mm, the midsection. Mm, what is this? What is that? What are you? What are you? What is that? Get out of here. Safety first. No. Safety dance. Well, there is an M. All right, this will take approximately a minute. Oh, okay. Oh, only we one jump minute. right back into this then, I guess. So I only have. I'll to move two, so you have two minutes. I have two more minutes. What do you do with that knife? Um, nothing. <laughs> this is like I feel like I'm at work right now. Like this is me at work. Forceps in one hand, scalpel in the other, cutting stuff yeah. up. 
Well, uh, what are, hey, Corinne, what are your predictions for Transformers 5? Uh, oh, the movie? Yeah. Um, let's see. Because we left number four with Optimus going off to kill I'm everybody. I'm coming for you. And that sounds awesome. They're not going to do anything to do with that. And because they will have reduced budget, they're going to do something that looks really cheap and crappy. And let's see. Drift will die. And the green one. What is the green one's name? The one that looks like a dwarf. Hound. Hound. Hound will also die because everybody liked him. And John Goodman is going to ask for too much money to do the voices again. And Betty White will be in there. And Dude, who's Betty White going to play? Um, she will be herself. Okay, I can deal with that. She'll be the headmaster for Stinger, who comes back to life. And... Oh, VG Gabers wants to know, does Flanker bleed? Oh, let's find out. Asking you specifically. Uh, the answer is no, because I, if I actually stab him, Vangelis will be very unhappy. I would be real sad. He would be very sad. I don't want to make him sad. Why'd you stab my Flanker? <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> the word flanker. Look, it's cyclonus. It's bunny ear cyclonus. Why did you stab my flanker? Because he's lame. No. Uh, comic book 98 wants to know, Kryn, which is your favorite chromosome? Um, the X chromosome. The what? The X chromosome. The X chromosome? Why is that? Because it's the best. The X chromosome. Why is that? Oh, you did a good job. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look what you did. How many viewers do we have now? <laughs> uh, let me go take a look. Let's see. About 95. Oh, 95. Pretty good. A lot of people are watching you do surgery. Don't stop now. Oh, okay. Um, okay, Cyclonus, you, you can't hold this. Your hand is not big enough. Hey, Kryn, any thoughts on character building Doctor Who sets? Uh, no, I don't watch Doctor Who. But what about character building and making you a better person? It doesn't matter who's telling you about it. You want to... What? Build your character. If I want to build my character? How much Doctor Who would you watch? Zero. Oh, jeez. I don't care for it. Oh, my God, I forgot this was still going on. Oh, my God, will you fix this? Oh. No. <laughs> hey, flanker, flank that. That's no. disgusting. He needs to have his... He's still... He's not done being labeled yet. Okay. Should I put should I put tailgate back? No, no. That's what you want. We're not gonna do that. That's what you want. That's what you want. <laughs> Alright, you know what, Cyclonus? Reboot Enzo. I think Pandanus from Make Toys looks really cool. I like how much he does not look like a Scorpionok. He just looks like a big ass robot someone wanted to make, and then they put scorpion parts on him because that what makes that's what makes all the Transformers nuts go like, oh I like it. It feels like it's a it's a call for help on a design level. There we go. Yeah. Hey, uh, KN1GHTW0LF871 said I'm a pungent master. A pungent master? Yeah. Like a dungeon full of puns? Yep. Are your eyes black and lifeless? Mine are. Do you build character? I'm so full of character. <laughs> All right, we're about ready to get back into this. Okay. Let's switch places Bye, again. Let me clean up that... Oh, what did you do? <laughs> I made Hotspot better. What have you done? Everything. What have you done now? Look at me now. Keeping up with the chat's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you take forever to answer questions and like five questions and I'm like, oh my god. That's why I go like that. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> I was like, hurry up. <laughs> I just thought you really liked my leg. <laughs> All right, can I move these things away? Go away, things. You, window, go here. Okay. More questions. So is Cyclonus John Hurt in this scenario? Who's John Hurt? John Hurt is uh, an actor. Grant, if you could time travel, where would you go? I would go to the future. There's nothing in the past I'm interested in. Future, all the way. Let's see. Well, Crane, you can time travel to the future. Is there a sequel to Beast Wars? Because that ending made me sad. Yes, it's called Beast Machines. Yeah. And, and most people didn't like it, but I did. As I understand it, most people didn't like it. Wait, Vangelis, show the hotspot knees. Later. <laughs> okay. Afterwards, remind us again. Yeah. Can you make a hot gate? You. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Please explain your fiction for CW Cyclonus. Uh, I'm just going with the tech spec on the back. He mind controls people. Yeah, actually, that's what the box says. Yeah, I like that. Well, that's your interpretation of what the box says. 
the box says that he can make other people combine with him, no matter who they are. Mm-hmm. So you inferred that he can control their minds. He's going to force some combination. I forgot her name. What's her name again? Um, Wild Style. Wild Style. Here you go there. Friends asking about a Lego figure. You can't see it in the YouTube version of this. That's exclusive to the stream. <laughs> Grin, can Vangelis swag? Yes. Can I swag? Yes. Which one would you pick, MMC Commodus or Spartan? Um, I don't know. I can't remember who each of those are now. (laughs) Think any third-party companies are going to make a Garnack figure? Ah, man, you know, that seems like a real obvious thing to do. But when it comes to obvious comic things, it seems like third-party companies are less interested. So, I'm not sure. What is worst anime? Uh, worst anime... I don't know. Like, I saw this knockoff of Robotech called Macaross, <laughs> and uh, that's that's pretty. Like, I don't know. You know, come up with original ideas, Japan. Thoughts on lack of one to eighteen scale Hasbro Transformers, which could accommodate GI Joes or three three fourths figures, SDCC non transformable exclusives, and any Oratory Oratoys Acid Rain figures vehicles reviews coming. So two qu- two parts. Thought on lack of one to eighteen scale. They would all be huge, so that's probably why they're not happening. And any Oratory's Acid Rain figures reviews coming? Yeah, Soul Commander is uh, in the midst of production. What is your least favorite common Rider series besides Kiva? Did they say besides Kiva? Yes. Smart asses, man, I tell you what. <laughs> is that uh, your answer? <laughs> that's my default answer, so now I have to think for a while. Have the Predacons always just not fought Autobots and always try to kill their fellow Decepticons? Uh, the Predacons? Uh, have Predacons always just not fought Autobots? Uh, but they do fight Autobots. Yeah, and do they try to kill their fellow Decepticons? I mean, probably. I mean, they're kind of like a, f- like a non-aligned group of their own. They just happen to usually follow the Decepticons. Is, is that they right? You mean Predaking? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I thought he was straight up Decepticon myself. If Cyclonus can forcefully combine with people, wouldn't that just be a forceful orgy? That's your words, not mine. <laughs> what do you think is the reasoning behind Hasbro choosing to have more Transformers films instead of combining G.I. Joe, Mass Gem, and more into a massive train wreck of a movie universe a la Unite E? Because they probably want to make more money. La la la. What is your favorite alternate mode for Megatron? I no. like tanks. Anything but the gun. <laughs> I like tanks. I like the gun, too, but I like tanks more. Let's see. Orcs or... Orcs! Orcs! Any plan in doing a collab with TJ Omega, possibly of a Transformers movie? I don't know. I never know what to do with collabs with people. Like, I need them to be there in person with me, and I have to have a really good idea, or I just... I don't like the idea of filming a collab where I'm filming stuff myself, they're filming stuff themselves, and it gets edited together. It's never... But plays right. But that's what most people do. I know, and I never feel like it plays right. <laughs> All right. Which combiner would you like to see done in Combiner Wars? Um, Monstructor, I think, is the one I said before. So this time, I'll say Six Train. <laughs> Does CW Cyclonus mind control people or Energon mind control people? Energon was mind control. That was straight up mind wiping. Don't hate the gun. I think that's at me. Hate the player. <laughs> yeah, hate the player. <laughs> hate Starscream. Do you think we'll get a Bruticus out of CW at all? Yes, very much so. Very much so. What does CW mean? Combiner Wars. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see. If you could be a crime fighter, what would your superpower be? I'd like to jump 30 feet in the air and be immortal. <laughs> Do you have any wrestling figures? I have a, a pretty dumb gold dust toy and a pretty neat Undertaker toy back in Victoria. Do you think there should have been more Predacons besides just Skylink, Starksteel, and Predaking in Prime? Um, considering that they were only really in there a little bit, and clearly the studio wasn't that interested in having them in there, I'm fine with what we got. How would you feel about a CW Leo Kaiser? That would be fine. Can you do a quick Tigress impression? Uh, I don't have uh, I don't have enough I don't have enough bullets to gargle in my throat to do that right now. I'm afraid. What does he sound like? He sounds like me if I gargled a bunch of bullets. Hmm. So your CW Cyclonus fiction, more or less creepy than More Than Meets the Eye Getaway? Well, more, more creepy. More creepy. Getaway's more not creepy. creepy. Yeah, he's a little creepy. I don't think he's he's creepy. emotionally manipulating Tailgate. 
Well, that's like, that's creep E, but not creepy. <laughs> no, it's creepy. I don't think it's creepy. What is picture? Bomp. Purple? Bomp. Which G1 character can you relate to the most? Um, red alert. Which, or what combiner team do you want more fiction for? Uh, well, Victorion, really. I want to know a lot more about Victorion. <laughs> Would you be annoyed if the Megatron in the comics got an Energon-style mind wipe and forgot all that turning good becoming an Autobot stuff? Oh, yeah, because yes. that would mean that a garbage writer took over the comic books. Yeah, I mean, he has to deal with it. Otherwise, it's not interesting. Do you have MP Ultra Magnus, and what do you think of him? I like him. He's a little bit limited, um, but he's big and just, like, dead rock solid in a lot of really lovely ways. Is that the one that I saw? The one that you have now? No, no, that's a different one. Uh, okay. He's the one those white hands were for. Uh, think they'll ever make a proper generation Skylinks? Um, depends what you mean by proper, but I'm sure that there will be a Generation Skylinks. Uh, let's see. Will Sideswipe always be in Sunstreaker's shadow? Uh, is he? Really? Do you think he is? I don't know. I have no idea. Who's Sideswipe? You're Sideswipe. No, oh. I'm guessing. <laughs> 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 Creepy Uncle Getaway? Come on, man. Which Super Sentai series would you recommend to a person who's mostly been exposed to them only as Power Rangers? Go watch Go Kaiger. That is, like, the one. I guess it's Go Kaiger. What CW toy would you want to get an Omega Supreme Redeco Retool Reshell? Uh, I don't know. Any of them, really. Just give me that color palette on, like, all of them. <laughs> Omega Supreme Combiner. Yeah, he'd combine with, like, all of the Victorion limbs or something. What do you think of the upcoming MP Road Rage? Hmm. I think that uh, she looks great. I love that they did that much um, remolding to, uh, to differentiate her appearance from tracks. If you could erase any part of the Transformers universe, storyline, figure, show character, what would it be? Super Link. Super Link. What do you think of possible Combiner War sweeps? Um, I think that they should happen, and if they don't happen, then someone goddamn better darn goddamn well make them happen. <laughs> robot or monkey? Oh, robot. Robo monkey. I think Hotspot should be redecoed into New Rodimus. Note that was said by someone called MTMTE Whirl. Hmm. Redecoed into Rodimus, so it would look like him, but they would just give him Rodimus colors. Yeah, and then but he'd... he'd be missing all the like the flame stuff sticking off his face. I know, a new head as well. A new head? Maybe with a new head. Oh, wow, Flanker looks really good. He does? Look at this. We should rename him. Oh, Flanker. Flunker. Flanker. Flonker. That's Flanker, and it's pronounced Flanker. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, guys. Oh, God. Is that his name? Is that his voice? <laughs> Which figure... Flanker. Would... Stop it. Which figure would you like to see get the masterpiece line treatment? Flanker. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best worst sound chip ever in a transformer? <laughs> the one that says Flanker! I lied! And why is it our modern red alert? Hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard that sound chip? You probably haven't. What is it's it? It's a sound chip of a guy saying, Red alert! Woo woo woo! <laughs> he turns into a little like emergency vehicle. Okay. But it sounds like the guy is saying woo woo woo. <laughs> he just says, Red alert! <laughs> What other Sentai series should I watch if by mostly means I've watched Go Kaiger? Uh, then Go you should see uh, Shin Kenger. That was another fantastic one. How many Autobots does it take to screw in a light bulb? Depends uh, on if they have fingers. Yeah. How many whirls does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> they should make a combiner out of Rodimus. Well, he's going to be a chest plate. So there's that. Do you know if Victorian is going to be made up of existing Fembots turned combiner or the five new characters? Uh, I don't know, and I don't believe it's been confirmed anywhere. What is your opinion on the mentally scarring horror that is Transformers Kiss Player? Oh man, that's really good fiction. Uh, I really enjoy it. I just showed Kryn what it was. No, no. These are not his true thoughts. It, no, I like it. No. You're not allowed to like it. No, I really enjoy it. It's got some great story potential. Uh... I've always liked the idea of there being a Decepticon who consumes human flesh to convert it to fuel. 
What it feels like a logical place for them to go. What do you... Th it, actually, that makes sense, but... Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Y y what do you think of the current Rid cartoon? Uh, from what I've seen, it's fine. It sounds like they are... Like, they did an interview way back before it started saying, come season two, they also want to touch on what the Prime cast has been up to uh, during the time jump. So. Do you prefer die cast or solid plastic? Solid plastic. Predator or Jason? Predator. Uh, Predator. What is the best Transformer series ever? Kiss play. No. Yeah. No. Also, I'm done here. All right. So he looks pretty he cool. He looks like a manta ray, the little flanker guy. He looks all shiny now. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Hey, snazzy. He's got shiny pants. Decals for snazziness. Decals for pants. Yeah, they do look like pants. <laughs> He's got pants. <laughs> so that does it for this V-Build. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later, those of you on YouTube land. We'll hang out on the stream a little bit longer here and, uh, and whatevs. But uh, in the meantime, uh, thank you all for watching this V-Build. We'll talk to you later. Bye.